Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Math 30-1, Chapter 1.1. Dividing a polynomial by a binomial. Okay. Now, before we get too far, we have to talk about dividing, or more specifically, long division. Now, a bunch of you are going, <laughs> but it's only math. So I want you to think back to grade five, six, the last time you did long division. Two thousand seven hundred and forty-eight divided by thirteen. Put the calculator away. Now, if I asked you to do long division with this, you would go, okay, thirteen, which is my divisor, or d of x. I divide that into my dividend. P of X. Now, I want you to look at this for a moment. I want you to take a deep breath. There's two ways to divide a polynomial by a binomial. I'm going to start. I am starting off with long division. This is something some people prefer. I will show you a cheating shortcut in a few minutes. So just relax. All right. Now, but if you're taking calculus, pay attention. You're going to need this. So, divisor and dividend. So, what do you do? Well, you go 2. Okay, I cannot divide 13 into 2. Can I divide 13 into 27? Yes. So, you go 27 divided by 13 is, put the calculator down, how many times does 13 go into 27? Well, 2 times 13 is 26. So it's 2 point something, something, something. Don't care. Stop. It goes in twice. So where do you put the 2? Up top. And this is... This is the start of your quotient or answer. Now, nothing here is hard, but pay attention. This is 2 times your divisor, 13, is 26. So you subtract 26 from this, and what have you got? One remainder. Do you stop there? No, you keep on going. You take the 4 down, and it becomes 14. Now I'm going to get rid of that circle because it confuses too many people. 14. So that's my new dividend. 14 divided by 13 is <clears throat> 1 point something, something, something. So my 1 goes up here in my quotient. Now, you should see the pattern forming. It's 1 times 13, which is 13. So I'll subtract 13 from this, and I'm down to... One again. I don't like that color. I'm going to change that to blue. So then I take, sorry, stop for a moment, think about it. Now what do you do? You take the 8 down, and it becomes 18. I'm just going to get rid of that arrow because it confuses too many people. So then I go, 18 divided by 13 is mm, 1, right. and then oh, it's 1 point something, 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 1 times 13 is 13, so I subtract 13 from this, and I'm down to 5, 18 minus 13 is 5, this is my remainder. 
abbreviated R. Oh, poopy. I forgot to put my extra one up here. So the answer is that it's 211 with a remainder of 5. Okay, so take a look at that. And as I said, don't freak. It's just a little bit of math you're supposed to remember. And if you don't remember it, don't worry too much. Okay. This is stuff you should remember. Now, new stuff. Writing this as a division statement. Now, here we have P of X, which is... 2748 equals my divisor, which is 13, times my quotient or answer, which was 211, plus my remainder of 5. So, as a division statement, I can write it P of X. My number is my divisor times my quotient or answer plus remainder. And if you don't believe me, grab your calculator and check. Yes, you can use your calculator. 13 times 211, then add 5. You should get 2,748. All right? So that's the first thing you got to remember here, the division statement. Now, a picky little thing. But if remainder is zero, then the divisor is a factor of the dividend. So be careful of that. So I said it as a trivial fact that I'm hoping you remember. Now, so far so good. Now, just remember this is a tape. If you have to, just stop anytime, review it. Now, the reason I'm reviewing long division is because when you dot by binomials or polynomials, so for example, x squared plus 2x plus 5 divided by x minus 1, that is where you should be able to do long division. As I said, it gets a little complicated. I will show you a sneaky shortcut. But some people prefer this, so I'm going to show you the long way to do it. All right, so everybody take a deep breath, and let's go on. Now note here, this is P of X divided by P of X. I could write this as x minus 1, x squared plus 2x plus 5, my dividend. So deep breath. <laughs> Biggest term in my dividend is x squared. Right here. And what's the biggest term in my divisor? So I divide this by x, and what do I get? x squared divided by x is x. So I have x here. Notice I started my quotient. First term of my quotient is x. Now, just like in long division, x times my dividend, sorry, my x times my divisor is what? x squared minus 2x. So where does that x squared minus 2x go? Oh, damn it. Sorry. It's x minus 1. What is Mr. Sutton smoking? You're supposed to point out when I make mistakes like that, guys. Come on, help me out here. So that's x squared minus x. Forgive me. There we go. Now, getting back to proper math, what x times 1 is 1, so minus 1 times x is minus x. Okay, now I've got that right. We subtract them. 
So what is x squared minus x squared? Zero. Do I bother writing out zero? No, I'm lazy. Now, pay attention. What is 2x minus minus x? Minus minus x becomes plus x or 3x in total. Now, I'm halfway there. I've got 3x. I take the plus 5 down. And I have a new div dividend, 3x plus 5. What's the biggest term in 3x plus 5? 3x. Sorry, color code. So you know what I'm talking about. Divided by my divisor, the biggest term is x. That equals, let's make this black, 3x divided by x is 3. So that plus 3 goes right up here in my quotient, x plus 3. Now, as I did before, let's see if I can screw this one up, x minus 1, I get what? 3x minus 3. Okay, so that is what I end up subtracting from my dividend. So, three x minus three x is zero. Five minus minus three is plus eight. Careful. Five minus minus three is eight. Okay. So, Let's see if I can put this together nicely. My original term x squared plus 2x plus 5. My dividend, or p of x, equals my divisor. Times my quotient. My answer, which is x plus 3, plus my remainder. If you don't believe me, multiply it out. x squared minus x plus 2x minus 3. Yes, it works. So that's a division statement, and that's using long division to divide a polynomial by a binomial. Fully admit a pain in the bum. All right? Now, look at that. Think about it. If you're okay with it, skip on to the next part. If you're not, I'm going to do one more example. Okay? Okay. So moving on, one more example. 3x squared minus 5x plus 9 divided by x minus 2. Now, what the heck does that look like? Well, my divisor is x minus, oh, actually, and that goes into my dividend. So, biggest term in my dividend divided by the biggest term in my divisor. 3x squared divided by x is 3x. So that's the start of my quotient. Now, I'll stop for a moment, look at that, and then we go. My start of my quotient times my divisor. Let's see what color shall I make this? Purple. This is 3x squared minus 6x. So it's 3x squared minus 6x. That's what I'm subtracting. So think about it for a moment. 3x squared minus 3x squared is 0. Minus 5x minus minus 6x is x. And I include my plus 9. So what do I do? 
once again, I do more division. So my biggest term in my dividend is x divided by my divisor x is make this black 1. So 1 times x minus 2 is x minus 2. So I end up subtracting x minus 2 from x, minus, x plus 9 x minus x is 0, 9 minus minus 2 is, 9 minus minus 2 is 11. Be careful of those mathy things. Oh, poop! I forgot the plus 1 up here. God, I hate this getting old. Okay. So, let's try this again. Looking at the color coding here. 3x squared minus 5x plus 9 is sorry, p of x. Sorry, uh, d of x and my quotient is 3x plus 1 My remainder is 11. Now, think about it and look at it. If you've got it, great. If not, don't worry too much about it. So in the next part, I'm going to be showing you a sneaky shortcut.